So that right there, you're wanting some gift cards. Well, you want to buy maybe Clash of Clans gems, Clash Royale gems, or that new game that just came out that all your friends are playing. But the problem is, you don't have enough money. But I've got that sorted for you. You can join my free iTunes gift card giveaway by liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning notifications on. And after you've done that, comment down below once you've subscribed. I have a way of checking if you have, and then you'll be entered into the giveaway. And I'll give every gift card away at a milestone. So the next one will be 5,000, which is coming up very soon. Then 10,000, and then I'll tell you the future things later. And so, try and enter my free gift card giveaway. It is not fake, so I'll announce the winners on a video, and then I'll like maybe Gmail you or Instagram you, and then I'll give you the code, and you can free be free to spend it on whatever you like. Maybe those games you want, or yeah, whatever you like. So, go and enjoy my giveaway. Last thing before we get into this video. Shout out to James Townley, link will be in the description to his channel. He made me a banner just because he wanted to. So I've decided to give him a shout out. Um, it's the banner I'm using currently and it looks like that. And thank you for making it and here's your shout out. What's wrong? I'll be from the page racing. Today we're going to be doing something that's like another talking video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about things we all did at primary school. Personally, I'm actually in year six, so I'm about to leave primary school. Some of you might be in secondary school. Some of you might be like even halfway through primary school. But today, um, before the video, I like reflected back on like the things that I absolutely cringed at at primary school. Like, the things that like I did that I just completely regret. So in this video, we are going to be talking about those things and we're gonna try and see if those things relate to you as well or like any of your friends or something. So anyway, let's get into the first one. Okay, so the first one is like, when you're singing like songs or something, like, um, so like say like if you're in the singing assembly or something, uh, it's like something like a song like saying he's got the whole world in his hands like there's always that like one person like in the middle of the road that's like shouting as loud as he can like he's got the whole world in his pants he's and you have such good pants. pants is it, is it like um after the song's finished like <laughs> Let me see what I did there. Anyway, so next we're going to be talking about like tests or something. So like, um, in primary school you have like little tests at the end of every year. Then when you get to the end of year six, you get SATs, or like not the end. But like, SATs are partly important, partly not. So like, they're partly important for like, say, what group you put in in secondary school because um that's only for the first like three weeks i think it is and then they make their own judgment and then it's also partly for the school's sake because say if like everyone like got zero marks like because they got every single question wrong i don't think the school will be saying that for much longer because it means like they're not teaching well or something's gone wrong somewhere in their understanding of the curriculum so you know in like year two three and four where you do something called the mental maths test is where you like um you're out of the sheet and then you like um uh, then like the teacher calls out the questions like five plus two then like in year two you like name what's the what's the answer question three two plus two i don't get it can you help me then like back then as it was hardly important at all about the test the teacher would see you and just like they'd just be like oh alfie stop talking or something like that we could but if in if in the sats you're talking our teacher has told this 
told us this like you absolutely get battered well not you get battered you just get like zero marks on every single test so like even me just going what are you doing at the weekend or something like that will get me zero marks on every single test so for the first three weeks i will have to be in the bottom group if i talk so that will be very fun if i have enough knowledge to be out of the second group so, mm. then like also in tests there's always that person that like finishes early and then they think like some bad man is up i finished they just like got tests i finished also this other person um the basically most of you have it's like say if there's like a piece of stationery like in year two maybe like that's like different to every single other um piece of stationery in my year two class there's like a pencil like all these pencils like made in germany then there's one made in great britain then like as soon as the teacher just like said go everyone just rushed to the pencil and like there's always like people pushing in like hey you took the pencil i had it but the teacher just like doesn't take notice and then you just like get another pencil they're all the same and then, like everyone's like you want to fight but they're not the same you want to fight but they're like that's just like what that's just like the sort of tell me if like that ha that's happened to you and like tell me what piece of stationery it is and like what was unique about it maybe it's like um your whole class of like pens that were purple and then there was like one that was white and like everyone just rushed to it those all things are really funny just to watch anyway the next thing is like for year sixes mainly is that um some year sixes where on their like last day before they leave for secondary school they think they're an absolute gangster like they're walking around the playtime at, like the playground at break like oh yeah i'm leaving peace out get shrek boys that do that the girls sort of do it as well but like it's mainly year six boys who just think they're hard like yeah i'm a gangster okay so this next one is like about football it's like when you're deciding the teams there's always like two or three arrogant people that just like us against all you lot because we're sick and then like when you get into the game they're getting humiliated about 12 nil and like you you never see their face in football again like literally you just ne you never see them again because they just get absolutely humiliated and their arrogance just didn't pay off anyway if you enjoyed today's video remember to smash the like button and subscribe to notifications on so you can be first to ever our videos we are about like 80 subscribers away from 5,000 subscribers i have a very special 5,000 subscriber video that i'm in the making of because i know i'm gonna hit it someday but it'd be a bit weird if like i just spent like five hours making the special and then like I don't hit it like I just lose subscribers you just go down and down and down and down and down and also at 5k um there's only a few more spaces left in the gift card giveaway for these iTunes gift card gift uh, iTunes gift cards let me just prove that it's not fake because I haven't rubbed any of them off and uh, so I'll be out announcing a winner on a video and then like and um, i'll maybe dm you the code or something so if you're the winner just tell me in the comment like why am i discussing things that have will happen in like maybe a week yeah why am i doing that i'm just so weird anyway i'll just carry on talking about it so like you 
Yeah, it's basically pointless blabbering, I just sped up because there's no point in hearing it, so yeah. Why am I talking about stuff like this? Why am I even here? God! Bye, guys! Uh, yeah, I dropped my gift cards. Uh,